Your skeleton provides the framework for your body and protects the main delicate internal organs. At birth, babies have about 350 individual bones. Many of these bones fuse together as you grow. By the time you're an adult, you have an average of 206 bones. Your skull bones begin as 26 separate bones. As a baby, these bones are connected by flexible cartilaginous membranes called fontanels. The membrane ossifies over time, forming the rigid sutures of the adult skull. The bones of the skull form a strong protective case which protects your brain and other major sense organs. It is connected to your spine, which is composed of 33 small, irregularly shaped bones called vertebrae. The spine is, in every sense, the backbone of your body. It directly or indirectly anchors all other bones. Each bone of your body has a special size and shape, depending upon the work it does and its location in your body. Twelve pairs of ribs are held in place by your spine. The bony cage formed by the ribs protects your major organs. They are strong yet flexible, swinging upward and outward as your lungs take in air. Your arm and its surrounding bones form one of the most exquisite feats of engineering known. The complex articulation in the hand, elbow, and shoulder are to be marveled at, for they allow a wide range of movement from large sweeping motions to minute manipulations. Together with the 26 bones of the hand, the versatile arm is well suited to the varied manipulations and motions. The pelvis is the bony structure at the base of your spine. It connects your legs to the rest of the skeleton. Your leg bones are your body's supports. They are much larger and stronger than your arm bones. Your thigh bone, or femur, is the largest bone in your body. Each foot is made up of 26 bones. These bones allow a wide array of flexibility while being able to withstand the incredible amounts of stress placed upon them. It is estimated that each stride of an adult places 900 pounds per square inch on the bottom of the foot. When you stand, the weight is distributed evenly along the foot. Half the weight is funneled to the calcaneus, your heel bones, while the other half is channeled into the tarsal bones that make up the arch of your foot. Your bones are well designed for the work they do.